So a young woman was just put on in-school suspension in high school for writing a poem about suicide prevention and anti-bullying. So we need to talk about it. Stay tuned. Ill, unwell, weak, virus. These words are all reasons you see a doctor, sicknesses. Depression is a disgusting disease that haunts your soul. Welcome to Lebanon in high school. Pride, spirit, tradition. Spirit, I understand. Pride? You tell me where we should take pride in this god-awful situation that we have all been thrown in. And tradition, let's talk about tradition. Tradition means something that happens over and over. I cannot let this happen over and over. This will not happen over and over. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And that clip that you just saw was from a poem by Emily Gibson, and it's titled, Welcome to Lib Lebanon High School, all right? So long story short is that Emily wrote this poem after a young woman at her school committed suicide. Now, the school has put in efforts for anti-bullying and suicide prevention, things like that, and basically, this uh, poem was about how people aren't taking it seriously, and even a little bit about how maybe this anti-bullying campaign that the, uh, that the school's doing isn't really succeeding. And by the way, I will link to the full poem down below so you can check it out for yourself. Anyways, what ended up happening was this video started getting a lot of traction. The last time I checked, it was at about 115,000 views, like a ton of views. and. First off, it makes me so happy that this video is getting views because as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, girl, yes. Talk about it. She's only 16 years old. And, you know, first and foremost, I'm I'm sorry for everybody's loss in the situation. Suicide is, is terrible, especially at such a young age. But since this video got so much traction, the school found out about it, and Emily ended up receiving two days of in-school suspension, which is crazy, which is crazy to me. First and foremost, because there was a story that just came out of another state where a young woman was bullied and she has a, an illness where she loses her hair and she has a, a wig that's glued onto her scalp and these kids bullied her, ripped it out and kept bullying her and these kids received in-school suspension. So it's like, looking at the way our school system is handling these things, and I know these are completely different schools, completely different school systems, but our priorities are messed up. So anyways, Emily received two days of in-school suspension, and it's crazy. And if you want more details on that, I'll also link to the Philip DeFranco video below. That's where I found out about this story. But what I wanna talk about in this video is just teenagers, mental health, and kind of the way that we're handling it. Like, something that I haven't gotten into enough on this channel, and I apologize about that, but I haven't talked enough about mental health for young people. Like, I know that a huge, huge, huge audience is out there for young people who are watching YouTube and they need mental health help. So I need to step up my game and start doing this. And one of the reasons people like myself or my buddy Charlie over at Authentic Mental Health, the reason why we need to start doing it is because they're not doing a good job of it at school. Like, School systems, like they just, they don't do a great job. Those of you who watch my channel, you know that I talk about my addiction and recovery and stuff like that. Like the D.A.R.E. program <laughs> failed, completely failed, right? The mental health stuff we have in schools, it's terrible, you know? And the fact that these kids are trying to do something proactive and getting punished for it is absolutely bananas. The principal's excuse um, at first was that it was inciting violence. Like, absolutely not. You can watch the poem. Like I said, it's linked down below. Not inciting violence at all. Basically, she's telling these bullies, how about you chill the heck out? You know what I mean? Because kids are brutal. And by the way, I just put up a video over at Authentic Mental Health about online bullying. Okay, so I'll put it up in the info card if you want to go over there and check it out. But anyways, the other issue that I take with this and the way that Emily got in trouble for this poem, like the teachers were upset. They say they were upset because she filmed it on school grounds, which Emily says that she actually had permission from two separate teachers to film it on her phone. Well, in the mental health field, I'm a mental health professional. In this field, we call this processing. Okay, people need to process their grief, their traumatic experiences, their, their mental illnesses. They need to talk about it, right? 
Emily, by performing this poem in front of people and then even putting it out on the internet, like, is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Not only was she going through some healing herself, but the other students who heard her recite this poem, it's actually helping them too. And she had a very strong, strong, powerful message, you know? So anyways, I just wanna bring light to this and, I, and hopefully, you know, you guys start thinking about that with your children or nephews or nieces or cousins or whoever it is. Young people need to start talking about this stuff and being more proactive about their me mental health. So anyways, Emily Gibson, if you happen to see this video, you keep doing your thing, girl. And you know what, I'll, in the info card, I'll also put a link to Emily's channel. She's just starting to gain some traction, get some subscribers. Go support her because she's doing a lot of stuff about mental health. She has two poems up right now, but it sounds like she's gonna keep going, and I hope she does because young people do need a voice and more young people need to get together and start talking about how serious mental health actually is, all right? but. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. And if you wanna check out some more videos, click or tap on one of the thumbnails right there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.